Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're going to go over the ASVAB military placement exam, specifically the word knowledge section. The way you learn how to juggle is practice. The way you learn word knowledge is practice. So I'd have a notebook out in front of you with a pencil. I'd take some notes. I would actually take the notes of the 25 words I go over, look them up, see them in different contexts, and try and use them as much as you can. I would Stick. You get more help and support at this web page right here or on the web stores. You could get it at the App Store um, and also the Google Play Store. It's a great app. It'll help you kind of solidify your skills so you could perform at your highest level on the ASVAB military entrance exam. All right, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started with that notebook in front of you. Pause the video, do the best you can on here, unpause it, and then watch how I do it. Admonition most nearly means praise, coincide, warning, rivalry. Well, admonition is going to be to admonish. Like if you admonish somebody, it's like a slight scolding. Like you shouldn't do that with a slight warning. And that is the correct answer. Answer C, warning. Question number two, pause the video. See if you can figure out what adage means by looking at all of these answers here. Again, almost all the word knowledge is going to be one word and then a list of synonyms. Synonyms are words that mean the same thing versus antonyms, words that mean the opposite. So on adage, you're probably going to have a list of synonyms and antonyms, and you've got to figure out which one's correct. An adage is like a proverb. It is the correct answer D. It's like a short little idea or story for you to learn something from. So that's what adage Inept, uh, inept, in is a prefix, it means the opposite. Inept means that you are not very capable, not very good at something. So I read through my answers, bungling, competent, competent is the opposite, respectful, kind of the opposite, scoffing, kind of unrelated. Bungling means you don't know what you're doing, you're just bungling your way through it. Bungling and inept mean the exact same thing. Question number four, perilous. Perilous most nearly means secure, hazardous, crazy, depend. Perilous is hazardous. Perilous means dangerous or hazardous. Question number five, emphasize most nearly means understate, play down. Understate and play down mean the exact same thing. So if these two things mean the same thing, it can't be those. Patient, again, kind of unrelated, accentuate. So if you don't really know what emphasize means, um, it makes sense if you have two words that mean the same thing, you could cross those two out. Emphasize is with emphasis. I want to say something with emphasis means I really want to accentuate it. I want to put an accent on it. So accentuate and emphasize mean the same thing. Number six, boring most nearly means studying word knowledge for that as no. Uh, that's not a possible option. Boring most nearly means remus, vertical, veridical, responsive, tedious. Um, tedious means repetition. You're doing it again and again and again and again. That would be tedious. So tedious and boring uh, are synonyms. They mean the same thing. Number seven, phenomenon most nearly means case, sloppy, dare, oblige. Pause, give it a try. Phenomenon, closest word that means the same thing is case, answer A. Number eight, depleted most nearly means augment, enhance. Again, augment and enhance both mean to add to. So these two words mean the same thing, so it can't be one of those. Empty, increase. So augment, enhance, increase all mean the same thing. It's going up. Depleted means to go down or to empty out. Correct answer on eight, depleted, is C, empty. Number nine, latent. 
manifest, potential, obvious, agreeable. Latent is he might have a latent skill, meaning he hasn't figured out what that skill is, is hidden away. Manifest, obvious, agreeable, they don't really make sense. Potential isn't exactly the same thing as latent, but it's very similar. He has a hidden potential, meaning it has not come out and been exposed yet. Correct answer for latent is B, potential. Number 10, commuted most nearly means accord, burden, tired, travel. Well, if you commute to work, you are traveling to work. So correct answer for commuted is answer D, travel. Number 11, abrupt, most nearly means gradual, expansive, unanticipated, gentle. So gradual and gentle are pretty similar. So because they're kind of the same, it's going to not be a solution. So expansive and unanticipated are different. Abrupt, come to an abrupt stop. Well, that's going to be a sudden stop. That is going to happen when you are not anticipating what's going to happen. So it'll be unanticipated stop would be an abrupt stop. Correct answer for abrupt, C, unanticipated. Question 12, sever most nearly means amputate, explore, attach, initiate. Attach and amputate are opposite words. Sever means to sever the limb, to cut the limb off. Correct answer, answer A, amputate means the same thing. Number 13, brawn most nearly means weakness, shine, squeal, muscles, brains, or brawn. Those are opposite things. That's a common phrase. Brawn means muscles versus brains. So the only correct answer would be answer D, muscles. All right, we're about halfway through. You might want to take a quick break here, stretch your legs, go back through those previous words. Again, you want to look them up and make sure you write Number 14, frolic, most nearly means shriek, abyss, play, or need. Frolic, like he is frolicking in the meadows, that means he is playing in the meadows. So frolic, correct answer, C, play. Number 15, tantalizing, most nearly means torment, gratify, satisfy, obstacle. Again, you'll see B and C, gratif gratify and satisfy are similar, correct answer, Answer A. Number 16, chronicle, most nearly means lector, reason, occurrence, invade. Uh, I think of the newspaper chronicle uh, as a reasonable paper. The correct answer is B, reason. Number 17, flagrant, most nearly means slight, pragmatic, occurrence, conspicuous. Flagrant, I think of a flagrant foul as a very obvious um, foul in football. Conspicuous is the opposite of inconspicuous. Inconspicuous, you see quite often, is really hidden away. So conspicuous means really obvious. Same thing as flagrant, really obvious. Number 18, abridged, most nearly means lengthen, expand on, shorten, lector. So you might see an abridged book. An abridged book is a shortened book. So it takes the whole thing and cuts it down to a smaller size. Correct answer is answer C, to shorten. To abridge something is to shorten it down. But I see up here as well, if I don't know what those words mean, but I do know what lengthen and expand mean. A and B mean the same thing. So those can't be the correct answers. Number 19, derelicts most nearly means rebuke. Facil facilitative, clueless, neglected. I think of a derelict ship, uh, a ship out at sea with nobody running it. The ship is completely neglected, no one's in charge. So derelict and neglected have... Question 20, deduce, nearly means conclude, weary, curiosity, discourse. Well, I can deduce the answer to that problem through logical thought. So deduce means come to a conclusion based on previous ideas. So the word closest 
to deduce is A, conclude. Number 21, a barrage, most nearly. Number 22, a mass most nearly means an occurrence, gather, remiss, or oblige. A mass means to get everything together or to gather things together. Correct answer, answer B right there. Number 23, if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing, share it with anybody else you might know who's interested in uh, studying for the ASVAB. A little bit of work up front will really boost that score. I have some playlists that'll help you uh, work your way through things systematically, especially in mathematics. I teach high school math and woodshop. Math is kind of my strength, but I've had so many requests for word knowledge. I'm putting a video out on this. Um, all right, number 23, inhibition most nearly means, in again, one of those prefix. Inhibition means you're scared to go out. You're scared to come out of your shell. So correct answer, D, shyness. Number 24, tentative most nearly means provisional, potential, confirmed, agreeable. Now, this is a little tougher one. Tentative means somewhat hesitant or provisional. So the closest one to tentative is A, provisional. Number 25, feet, F.